Okay, so what do we know? Our prompt gets converted into a vector embedding, okay? And we know that the vector embedding sometimes does not fully capture the, the stuff that we had in the prompt, okay? So what are we trying to do? We're trying to figure out how we can combine prompts in ways that allow us to get more control over the system, okay? And there's, there's basically three ways of doing that. We're not, we're not really combining prompts, we're combining conditioning, okay? So the first one is combine and. It's a very simpler, it's very simpler. It's just A conditioning plus B conditioning, okay? And we know this, because if we go in the source code for the conditioning mixer, I'm looking at the conditioning mixer node. If mix method equals combine, return conditioning one plus conditioning two, okay? So it's, it's literally that simple. It's just A plus B, okay? Weighted average, very similar to combine, just with a little extra steps. There's another variable called weight, and it lets you um, kind of like do like a little slider, like like in the combine, like which one's going to be more important. Do you want it to combine more towards A, or do you want it to combine more towards B? Okay, and the formula, A, you don't have to know it, it's just, it's just combine with a slider, okay? And we know this is right, because if we go in the source code, this is, this is where I learned, you just go to the source code, you just read it, it's not hard. <laughs> Um, let's see, if mix method equals average, then we have, return out, where is it, uh, da, 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 pulled, right here, um, no, no, that's not it, uh, okay, I can't, is it right here, I can't find it, here we go, TW torch, so T1 conditioning to strength plus this, 1 minus conditioning to strength, that's, basically, just take my word for it, okay, this is how it works, <laughs> okay, <laughs> dying over here and then concatenate break it's a little more complicated all it does is uh something called torch cat so it pretty much does this so instead of instead of like actually combining them together mathematically it tacks it onto the end and it's like hey we have a and we have b they're like their own separate little things okay so the reason why it's useful to us the way we can actually make use out of this is I got this little setup right here. This is going to be in the description. I got it on Civ.ai, don't worry. But um, it's a pretty simple setup. We have our first prompt, we have our second prompt, and then both of those get rendered individually over here. All these samplers are exactly the same settings. And then the last three on the side, we have combine, concatenate, and then our weighted average. Okay? So if we look, if we think about what's going on, let me exit this. If we think about what's going on with, with combine, it's just adding these things two together okay so in this example we have one girl and we have a bowl of apples it's trying to combine those things together and e it's like it's giving us an image that is in the space in between a girl and a bowl of fruit so we kind of get this face inside of a bowl of fruit right so you might think like oh that's not that's not very useful this picture right here is much better this picture over here on the right it's much better too so you know the takeaway, ooh, combine is useless. No, that's not it. It's just that for this specific example, it doesn't really doesn't really help us out that much. Unless you try to make something like this, then you do what you want to do. But um, again, if we think about what's going on, how this uh, just this combines these two unrelated things together and we get a bad image, and then how this one, what's this one doing? What's concatenate doing? It is treating them as their own little separate concepts. So we have... Our, our new prompt, our new conditioning, is equal to one girl, comma, apples, bowl of fruit. So instead of getting this horrible amalgamation of both of the two things combined, we get both of the things separately, right? And it makes complete sense, because that's literally what it's doing. It's treating them as separate things. And then average, it's this with extra steps. There might be a divide two there in somewhere, which uh, kind of lowers the strength of the vector embedding that makes this, which kind of explains why the weighted average will give you more usable images if you're combining unrelated things, but um, this one's kind of, this one's, it's uh, really, I never use this because it's, 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 this is more of like an artistic thing to play around with and instead of like, like you will be able to like predict your results and get definitive results. This is like, ex this, I ex this is what I do when I want to experiment and I just want to see what happens. This is very hard to predict in my, in my opinion. Um, so yeah, let's uh, let's do something else. Um, so we have two unrelated prompts. Now we're gonna do this with two related prompts. One girl, black hair, and we're gonna see what happens. One girl, black hair. One girl, white hair. Black and white hair. Um, 
this looks very similar to this, this looks very similar to this. Okay, so again, if we think about what's going on and what we're actually doing, we're just combining one girl black hair, one girl white hair, which explains why the combine now suddenly is giving us images that, you know, are more useful. Um, because it's, it's combining those two things together, okay? And in this particular case, since both of these vector embeddings are already closely related, we're able to get images that kind of like meet our expectations more closely. Um, since the two, since I guess like the result is in a space that already has two things that are close together. Um, the only difference is the hair color. So we get a mix of those two hair colors together as expected. And then if we do something else like city skylines, I don't know, fisheye, POV, night, sky, if we do something like this, then there's a good chance combined is not going to be very useful anymore. But yeah, see, see? So again, if we think about what's going on, it makes complete sense. We're basically trying to combine this with this. We're just trying to shove them together. And then we get, eh, like, what the hell is this supposed to be, right? <laughs> but then when we take both of these into consideration as their own separate concepts, we're able to get something much more usable, right? And then again, when we use this experimental one that I, I'm not really, <laughs> not really good at using, <laughs> it's, uh, oh god, this one's so hard for me to explain, man. Okay, so I'm gonna do one more thing. Um, let's see, one girl, cowgirl outfit, western boots, um, and then teacher, professional, business, attire. I've always wanted to see what happens. This is the last one we're gonna do. So we got a dit, we got a dit, and we got a, we got a, we got a west, we got, you're going to school in Texas now, boy. <laughs> Alright, so, um, yep, hope you learned something.